Welcome back, people. I hope you all enjoyed our last video. If you haven't seen it yet, please do. In today's episode, we've got 15 scary ghost videos that will leave you extremely mind blown. Make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video. And if you don't want to miss any of our videos, then please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we have new content. Let's get started. Number 15. Our first video features Italian paranormal investigator Enquito TV, also known as Restless TV, who collects his closest friends to accompany him on his very first paranormal investigation to an abandoned children's asylum in Campania, Italy. The tall building has a terrible background and was shut down after a little child tragically perished after falling from the top level. Ever since, it's been completely empty. <laughs> The Enquito TV crew enters the structure and ascends a staircase when they hear a small child's faint voice, but they are unable to identify its source. It's a very strange encounter, this one. The Enquito TV crew discovers many tree trunks placed in a circle inside one of the vacant asylum chambers. The explorers then hear a young child laughing, followed by the sound of something heavy being hurled somewhere nearby, which is when things take an even more frightening turn. Did you notice something spooky standing there in front of them in the shadows? They seem to be being followed repeatedly by whatever it is. I don't understand why they want to remove this place. Now, here they have removed the door. Look, 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 has it ever caught your attention in a room corner? The same innocent looking creature reappears once more, this time remaining for a split second before disappearing completely. They were seemingly being followed from room to room by Inquieto TV, but they were unaware of this at the time and failed to spot the enigmatic shadow figure. So could this be the ghost of the child that tragically passed away inside the abandoned children's asylum? As usual, I'll let you make the final decision. Number 14. The following video is from the YouTube channel Really Haunted, which became quite popular after a strange and inexplicable phenomena began to happen in his house. This time the behavior intensified and proved more hazardous. One of the cameras initially captured a levitation vacuum cleaner. Strange events started to happen while Lee was sleeping alone in his bed during the night.
first the cabinet, and then the chairs started to move. But what really caught our attention was probably an eerie dark anomaly that appeared above him. However, what he was able to capture next is even scarier. This time while Lee and Stacy are cozily asleep, we unexpectedly witness a mysterious, dark anomaly that draws Stacy from her bed and stops at her legs. What do you guys think about it? Is it the real activity of poltergeists or is it just a well done mystification? You're the judges. You decide. Number 13. Published by Dark Ghost Paranormal in April of 2021, this witch's forever home is literally forever. You might even say eternal. Dennis hears something inside while keeping watch over the neighborhood. He claims he'll wait till dusk to check on the light. He need not wait though. In the yard, someone can be seen moving between the buildings. The fact that the man did not answer the door when he knocked, says Dennis, is unsettling. He enters the barn that evening and discovers a strange thing suspended from a thick chain. Dennis examines the contents of the bag and is surprised by what he finds, but before the discovery is revealed to the public, he hears a noise outside. He runs away, but later comes back and enters the house. That is when he finds this. What looks like a red coffin is sitting at the center of the room. He goes back to his tent and builds a big fire, then finds refuge within. Through the night, he keeps hearing horrible noises. Then he hears movement towards the tent. Dennis claims that it's directly beside him once the sound is stopped. As he steps outside his tent, Dennis notices a torch beam cutting through the night. Dennis listens as a shadowy flashlight figure approaches before heading back to his tent. On a second camera, you can watch the man enter his campground. The man simply strolls off. But Dennis later spots him again the following morning through the dense overgrowth. What do you think he wants? Why is he watching? Number 12. Our next video was posted on YouTube by a popular YouTube channel, Mind Seed TV. This time, Casey and Tanner went to one of his viewers' houses who sent them an email with the news that his grandfather had recently passed away and the house is showing paranormal phenomena. To find out, Casey and Tanner went there to see if it was true. Everything seemed to be normal at the beginning of the video, but after he interrupted the building, odd events started happening. It's a pretty cool painting, actually. Oh, this room's kind of crazy. Dining room, old picture of Grandpa. Yeah? Old painting.
The eerie white silhouette of a ghost that stands outside the house is captured on camera by Casey as he explores the interior and spots a creepy apparition in the window. Unaware of what they are recording, they continue to record until they get a chill-inducing shot, just as one of the ghost investigators pushed the piano to see if it was still in working order. This occurs. That was you. Can you do it again? Come on, we're here now. We've got the cameras on you. And uh, go ahead, make the sound. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah. Can you give us a little sound? When the doors began to rumble, it felt like it felt like the fucking world was ending. Like I'd never, I've never felt fear like that on an investigation, and I just kind of was frozen. I can't even describe on camera how terrifying that felt. It was almost like every door in the house was rumbling and it felt aggressive, it felt violent. And I just kind of was frozen, like, I don't know, just couldn't process it or what. And then I saw the chandelier swinging in the hallway. Dude. We kind of froze for a sec and then just got the fuck out of there. There was a strong rumbling sound coming from every door in their vicinity that resembled an earthquake. They were so terrified by this experience that they made the hasty decision to cease the investigation and depart the residence. So did they capture the evil poltergeist activity and spirit on camera, or is it just a well-prepared hoax? Number 11. Our next one is from the channel Fourth Wall. This time, one of the owners of the house wrote an email that some disturbing phenomena were happening in his home. The Fourth Wall team decided to investigate, and the footage they were able to capture is horrifying. He started recording something alarming soon after entering the apartment, when he immediately turns after hearing something behind his back. A terrifying black ghost that's visibly dissolving in the air is standing there. So is it a real shadow figure captured on camera or possibly something else entirely? I'll let you decide. Number 10. The next discerning videos come from the YouTube channel Michael Prate and Vivo Mitts. In the beginning, the couple decided to rent the most haunted room to see what will happen, and that's what they managed to record something terrifying. Some sort of ghost activity, nothing yet. We walked all up, up and down the halls in here. It's a pretty nice hotel though. There's a flat screen. There's two closets, here's one of the closets. Space. And then there's another closet. With lots of space also. 
That's closet space. Hello? Mike? Hello? You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <sighs> my poor you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my For the first few seconds, nothing happens until a mysterious bang, after which it starts to get weirder. First, the clothes that were in her suitcase were spread over the wardrobe and the door to another one opens by itself. But this is not the only disturbing video from this hotel. Another YouTuber also recorded something interesting. We see something bizarre on the top floor, some figure laying over the railing which disappears after a while without a trace. So is this hotel really haunted or is everything easily explainable? Number 9 Our next video was posted on YouTube by the Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. Jeff, Phil and Mark from the channel are invited to spend the night at a 900 year old ruin of the haunted. Merton Priory Chapter House in London, England. The chapter house served as a gathering place and a component of a massive cathedral that no longer stands from the years 1114 to 1538. The ancient ruins were unearthed in the late 1980s and 31 bodies were discovered buried beneath the floor. Museum trustee John Hawkes believes that his spirit haunts the ancient remains. It's believed that the bodies are the remains of monks from the cathedral and that the plague killed many of them. The ghost tech team deploys its static cameras and they start their investigation. If there's something that you can do to let us know that you can hear my voice, please move something, even throw something at me, I don't mind. At least I know that you're here and that you're listening. Now I guess I must be sitting on top of where lots of the skeletons were found. Can you come and take a seat next to me? I felt the floor move behind me and I heard footsteps right up behind me. Things take a terrible turn as Jeff sits on the floor and converses with the purported spirit. Jeff jumps up in astonishment as he feels movement on the floor. Normally, Jeff remains cool and collected throughout his investigations, but in this instance, he panics immediately, drops his recorder to the ground and nearly breaks it as he leaps to his feet. Hi there. I heard you. 
Sorry, you made me jump. The Ghost Tech Paranormal team, however, is unaware that they've captured something even more startling. A stationary camera capturing the ruins where the 31 victims were discovered catches a genuinely unsettling scene. A mysterious person appears to emerge from the preserved coffins at the back wall before dissipating into thin air. The Ghost Tech team is baffled by what they filmed and thinks they may have acquired paranormal evidence of the ghost that is rumored to haunt the Chapter House Museum. Number 8. Our next video was posted by The Soul YouTube channel and went as usual to a potentially haunted place. Along with searching for ghosts, they also attempt to purify historic structures while traveling. The cleaning stated before, as well as demonstrating the location and outlining of its history, are frequently included in the expeditions. As far as I can tell, their movies hardly ever seem to show any shady phenomena that are challenging to explain. However, this time they were successful in getting something that they only realized after editing the footage. When they were in front of one of the large rooms and getting ready to clean, we could see a very distinct sort of white figure in the doorway to the left, but it gradually disappeared. But before that, there was nothing at all at that location. They add that aside from this one incident, nothing strange happened to them on their journey. And at that very moment, they were unaware that anyone else was in the building with them. Number seven. This one's origins are unknown. However, we do know it was posted to Reddit. It's thought to be some security footage shot at a farm in Peru. Take a look at what the cameras have captured. When you watch that video again, what at first seems to be a person sitting cross-legged in a field transforms into something far stranger. As it stands up, the figure seems to change into a funnel of black mist. It appears to be peering down the well on the right. Another strange black fly flies off to the left. Even if it's conceivable that the person's appearance is distorted due to the security camera's low compression rate, there's something about the way they appear into the well that seems completely unsettling. Whatever it is, it seems to slink about and even has glowing eyes at the beginning of the movie. Unfortunately, it's the only data we have on this clip. It's unable to delve more into the sighting due to the dearth of trustworthy information. So unless more info comes to hand, this unsettling sighting will have to remain a mystery. Number six. In this next video, there's not a lot of information. Its origin is unknown, but Scary Central published it on TikTok. A woman can be seen talking on her phone while walking by. She briefly pauses to speak to the person holding the camera. <laughs> completely unaware that there could be a threat nearby. Take a peek and see what happens next. A phantom form rises behind her, hidden. It abruptly appears from the shadows and extends its hand to the woman. The camera's owner, though, can view it. They are so petrified that they don't attempt to alert their buddy of the threat. Instead, they stealthily run away. Because there's not a lot of information accessible, it's challenging to tell precisely what we're seeing here in this film. The person's features are distorted, almost like a reflection in a distorted mirror. Please take a second to look at the video and let me know what you make of it. Number 5. This homeowner decided to create a TikTok account named haunted Charlotte to capture the unusual incidents that had begun to occur after purchasing a doll at a local antique auction. The pair soon started finding unrelated items on the floor after they brought the doll home. Although they couldn't be sure, the uploader's wife instantly thought the doll might be possessed, so they decided to set up a camera to record the doll while they were both out of the house. Check out the footage that's been captured. Despite the sped up video, you can see that things are starting to move around the house. Finally, their dog enters and is startled by something. 
what did he see? Then the doll starts to move around when the homeowner places it next to his daughter's Cabbage Patch doll. This is what happens whenever I put her near my daughter's old Cabbage Patch doll. Though the power line to the doll has been severed, the uploader demonstrates that there's no batteries inside and it's still moving. But wait, there's more. I even cut the wire to see if that would stop it. Is she causing this? One commenter in a subsequent video expressed suspicion that something odd might be going on and advised removing the batteries from the doll's feet as well. Here he shows that even though they have been eliminated, the doll is still in motion. The uploader made the decision to hold a seance in an attempt to make contact with any ghosts who might be associated with the doll. Check out what he managed to catch. Even the torch on the desk begins to flicker. In a subsequent video, the uploader admits that much to his wife's dismay, he brought the doll along with them on vacation. They set up a camera to record the doll while they were out for the day while still in the hotel. Take a look at what the camera captured. So could this doll really be haunted? Number four. The next videos come from the YouTube channel Fatalized. This is a video of the investigation of an abandoned building during which they came across something really deadly. Unexpectedly, one of them saw the shattered glass on the steps and a thin invisible rope that when pulled. It's on a fucking crutch. What a knife. How'd you catch that? It's oh, a bad no, motherfucker. I see that. Yo. Touch it. Let's see. Yo, cut it. You see that? Look, come here, Scott. So that's Scott. Come Scott, here. Scott, look. Look right here. See this string? Oh, don't f move. That, that's a booby trap. See Scott, see glass? this string? So they put some, the broken glass over here. Look, you know, see so when. See this, see this string? So who's videotaping? I am. I am. You ready? I am. Hold on. See the string? Yeah. Now look up. Come over yeah. here. Let's Scott see. Bring it in. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Let him see. That's for real. That's, that's fucking. No, this is like, why is this glass right here? This is homicide. It's homicide up here. Come here. I see it, yep. No, no, you don't see it. Go to the other side. No, I see, I see it. Yo, I look at it. this wall. Look it's at the knife. Crutch, dude. See the knife? Oh, yeah. Hold on, you ready? Yeah, yeah. Who's videotaping? I'm here. Yeah. Who's videotaping this yeah. 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 Hold on. I'm getting far away from this thing. All right, here, you got it? Yeah. You shut this wall. I don't know where you trip it. Stop at yeah. the top of the step. You think? Yeah. What is it? At the step. Head, dude. What's his house? This house ain't fucking up. Look at that. That is it. Yo, come here right to your head. He's got bodies. Look at this. Look at it. Yo, that's right in your fucking head. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. You need to stop more. You need to step off. Yo, that would have got you right in your fucking neck. Oh my god. Right in his head. No, my heart. Yo, you got to say Yo, by the time you're going to be there, it's by your head. Watch walking up there, man. Yo, rip that down. Yeah, how do you know he's not booby trapped again? Yo, that's fucking scary, man created a lethal trap. How do you all feel about this? Who or why would anyone leave such a trap in a vacant home? It's like Macaulay Culkin squatting in there or something. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Number three. Here we've got a video from the channel, This and That. It's a very intriguing tape from a house where nobody lives and where the owner only uses it as a storage facility for items. He eventually makes the decision to videotape the entire structure where he was able to capture this. But that's, that's one spot. And then we got another spot back here. You can see, and that's the worst spot. Now, uh, that's I have to have a piece of the tin replaced on the roof, and uh, we'll have to get some ceiling tile, I guess. But uh, get this stuff going, man. I want to get everything moved in or fixed so I can start moving stuff in and get set up and start jamming but that section there again like uh, it's got some sections that's drooping right there so we're gonna have to have looks like two four six sections 
of tile there. And then back here, we got, uh, let's see. Suddenly, at the end of the hallway, a terrible sight appears. A shadow figure literally peering out of the wall. Whether it's a genuine shadow figure or maybe there's a much simpler explanation. Number two. This video comes from the YouTube channel Paranormal of Watertown POW, who went to the real house from the movie Conjuring with the whole crew. One of the cameras captured something quite intriguing after they abandoned their equipment and began their investigation. The shadow can be seen flowing from right to left in the video without doing anything particularly fancy. But one thing stands out. Nobody was moving at this particular moment, and the shadow was going quite smoothly and evenly. Therefore, is every ghost story in a haunted and cursed house true? Or perhaps the answer is as simple as asking people to think carefully. Number one. Our last video is from TikTok. This video was posted by a TikTok user Ginger Spooks, who noticed the strange behavior of one of her child's toys. Do it again. Whoa, turning! Do it one more time for me. Whoa, turning! As you can see in the video, the toy turns on by itself due to a broken part. However, we also notice a peculiar phenomenon, a white fog that emerges throughout the wall and then vanishes. Now, this fog could be as simple as cigarette smoke, but that's not the case, though. She then went on to describe how the toy works. She made the decision to try something else a few days later. Time about the ghost video I posted. Um, I just want to clarify some things. People were confused. Right up here, right where the tire is at, is where you see the little white figure. It could be smoke, I'm not sure, but I was sitting all the way over there on the porch. And then it came out from over here and went straight up to the wall. Well, I have the toy right here. I'm going to clarify some things. Um, the only way you can get it to make that exact noise that I was making is to turn it to the right. Whoa! It won't do it again unless you put it in place and then turn it to the right again. Whoa, turning! All the buttons okay. work. Calling home. You can click this right here and it starts it. Um. This time, she used the ghost displaying TikTok filter. It's a little alarming what she was able to capture. The filter eventually detects an odd figure that appears in that one location and nowhere else. Is it a genuine ghost or something else entirely? And that's going to wrap it up for today, you guys. I hope you liked the video. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so and hit that notification bell. This has been The Haunter, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep it creepy.